Hi, my name is Emma Biba. I am a graphic designer at One Stop Media Group. Today you're going to learn how to create your own Snapchat lens. If you don't have much experience in Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, Snapchat has pre-made designs that you can customize, but this tutorial is for someone a little more experienced that wants to create a complete, completely custom lens. What you're going to want to do first, if you don't have Lens Studio on your computer, you're going to want to go to lensstudio.snapchat.com and click download. It is a free program. Then you'll get to a login screen. You log in with your regular Snapchat account, the one that you use on your phone. Then it brings up a window explaining what kind of operating system you need and hardware. Just click Agreed. I have read the privacy. And then download for Mac or for PC. Again, this is free. I already have it downloaded. So I'm going to open it. This is what the home screen looks like. I'm going to say new project. So this is just a blank project right now. You have to upload your own files. I already have the imagery that I want to use, but I need to Photoshop it first. So I'm going to open up my image in Photoshop. One of our clients is a boxing gym. So my idea was to create boxing headgear as the lens. So I got a picture of boxing headgear and now I have to Photoshop what's in the middle away so that you can see the person's face. So first what you're going to want to do is click mask. Then you click on the image, click on the white with a wand tool. It'll get rid of all the white space. So fill that. So now you have an empty background, completely clear, but you still need to get rid of this part right here. So I'm going to do that right now. You can use any kind of method to get rid of the background, whatever you're comfortable with in Photoshop. Okay, and let's say I've already finished that. Exit, don't save because I already have the Photoshop file here that is done. Okay, so this is the plain version. Pretend that I don't have the logo on there already. I've Photoshopped everything out. Then I want to add the logo. So going to open up our logo in Photoshop as well. Command A for select all, Command C for copy, and Command V for paste. And then Command T to transform it and make it smaller. Now I want to add a shape behind that because normally on Boxing Headgear the title, the logo that is on top of it doesn't isn't just plain on the headgear. It needs to have a white background. Okay, now we're almost done, but what I like to do, this, it wouldn't just be straight on the headgear. I like to add a little bit of perspective. So I'm going to go to edit, transform, and warp. And then it'll be a little bit curved. It wouldn't be a straight line. And then when it's all done, it would look like this. In Snapchat, you can add two faces. So I want to also add a red boxing helmet. So for that, I just add a layer, click red, and then I take my paintbrush tool and paint this area. Then when you click color as your overlay option, it'll color that. And then you can go ahead and mask the color as well so it doesn't show. In the end, you'll have a red boxing helmet. So now I have two options, the red and the blue. I save both of those as PNG files because you don't want a background behind the helmet. Let's go to File, Save As, 
then save as PNG. I'm gonna title this red because it's the red version. Save. And then I will also save a blue version. So save as PNG, then underscore blue, save. Now, once you have your PNG file saved, now you're gonna open Lens Studio again. In the resources tab, you're gonna click add new, add new and then import files so i click on my files click open and now they are in my resources tab now to add the headgear onto the face you go to add new then you're going to click on face sprite so now you have a blank template that you put your image on click on inspector this is this is the image. It doesn't have any image right now. You're going to click on default on the right hand side and then you're going to place the headgear. Click OK. Now it's really small right now, so you have to increase the size. Make it as big as you want to. Position it where you would want it to be on the face. Then you can click preview to see what it would look like. So this is a little bit small on this person's face. So I may want to make it a little bit larger. Move it up a little bit. Snapchat gives you the ability to look at multiple people's faces. Try it out, see what it looks like. So this guy's hair is a little big. May want to make it just a tad bit larger. So it covers that a little bit more. It's not going to be perfect. What's really great about the Lens Studio is that they also give you video options so you can see what it looks like in a video as well. That's an idle person. On this guy, it's a little bit small as well, so I may have to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. It's good to compare multiple people because nobody's face is going to be the same so you need to see if it's going to going to work on a variety of different face shapes and sizes so i've checked it now it works on everybody's face but we've also got another face if you have two people and i, I said that i wanted to add a second face option so now you're going to click add new again and then face sprite now we're on a new face, the second one. So again, you're gonna click default and then you place the image that you want to be on the second face. So I click okay. I increase the size. Okay, so to fix this issue, you're gonna wanna go to camera, sprite binding two because that was the second image that we add. Click inspector, head binding. It's set at zero right now, so that means both of these are going to be on the same face. So you're going to want to put one because the first one will be zero, the second one will be set at one. So then it should be on a new face. Let's check it. There we go. See, so now you have two faces on there. But let's say we want the mask to move with the person's face. It doesn't change the proportion of this. So we need to go back to Sprite Binding 1, Sprite 1. This says Align to Camera. When you upload a new Sprite, it will automatically have Align to Camera. So you're going to want to uncheck this. And when you do Preview, see it moves with it. It doesn't necessarily work for this particular lens, but it'll be important if you want to make a different kind of lens. And now, once we're done with that, I'm going to check every preview to see that it works. So once you're done, you're going to want to go to Submit Lens in the top left-hand corner of Lens Studio. Click Submit Lens, and then it gives you the option to name your lens. I'm going to call it Rocky's 
boxing gym because that is who the lens is for. The lens works on both cameras, so saying front and back. You're also going to want to choose an icon. That will be the image that shows up in, see this, so let's say we're in your Snapchat on your phone, it'll be the image that shows up, the preview image of your Snapchat lens. So go choose icon, I've already made one. It just has to be 320 pixels by 320 pixels, so I just shrunk my headgear to a smaller size. Click open and it'll show up right there. Then you could you hit submit. It's going to ask you to confirm submission. I'm going to say submit as new. And you click submit. I've already done this part. So with my other lens, so you can go back and look at other lenses that you've made before. So I'm going to open my lenses. And this is the one that I created before, Rocky's Boxing Gym. And it'll show you the stats, but it usually only shows you stats after 100 people have scanned your lens. It'll send you an email once it's been approved and it'll give you a link to the lens. And it'll also give you the lens snap code that you can share with people. And there you have it.